This tutorial is how to take information from one scene and display that in another. So what I'm going to do is have a section where I can type my name. So at the moment this label here is just static text and I have created that already. And now I'm going to create another text box that this time will be input text. Now if I wanted to make this, so if I play this now, you can't actually see where the input text is but you could still write in it. Um, now obviously I want to give some indication to the user that that is actually for writing in. There's a little thing over here, show border around text in the properties and if you click on that, that will actually mean that it will show the border which will give some your users some indication that that's going to happen. Now if you didn't actually want to do that, you turn that off, um, what you could do is do something like your own indication, so I'm just painting on a line here, that you would insert your name there. So either way, the user needs to know that they are required to do something and just having the label type your name is not enough for the, the um, users of your game. Now, what I've got is that as an input text field and what I'm going to do is under options, so this might be hidden, you've got the variable and I'm going to have my variable named name. Now if I go to my game scene, I'm going to put my name above my score here. So I'm going to put a text box here, let's move it down a bit, and I'm going to make sure that this one is dynamic checks. Dynamic meaning it change, can change all the time. And I'm going to down in my variable options, type in name. Now if I play this, type my name, Kelly Bauer, play my game, and there's my name with my score. There's my score.